Welcome to the tribe. I did a video like this recently. I may have looked a little stupid. I got a few of them wrong. All right, Gen Z might you know I, I might have downgraded myself from a millennial, but we're gonna try again. So in this video, he's asking college students basic questions that they fail miserably. Let's see if I can maybe be a little bit better this time around. What up, family? So today we're at Cal State Fullerton, and we're gonna be asking these college kids some simple ass questions. Let's see if these students can restore my faith in America. Let's go. Today we are here with Danielle, Jeffrey Jackson, I'm Megan Yu, Joel, Krista, Z, Izzy, Daniel. Middle name? Lee. That's a good looking person, bro. Let's go. You said we're what in person? You guys are a pretty good looking person. I'm not gonna argue with that. You don't wanna say your middle name? Can't be that bad. It's either Marie or Rose. That's kind of close. We're here with Jenna. How's it going today? Pretty good. You said you're brain dead right now? Yes. Perfect. All right, Z, my name's R, and today we're going to be asking you very simple questions. Are you pretty good with general knowledge questions or no? I, mean, I hope so. Let's find out right now. And there's no reward if you win. Time for the first question. What country is the Panama Canal in? I have literally no idea. Oh, my God. What country? Panama. That sounds like Brazil. Mm. I don't. <laughs> is Africa a country? Africa is a continent. I, I just said in the last video, there's a lot of people that think Africa is a country. Well, here's one of them. Oh no. Panama. Correct. <laughs> in Panama. I, Correct. It's like, bro, it's called the Panama Canal. Like what? Oh no. All right, let's see. At the end of this, let me know in the comments how many you got right and got wrong. Come on, don't don't lie to me. Don't lie Hold to on me. Now. It's okay. Panama? That's correct. Panama? That's correct. I did a report on the Panama Canal, Mexico. You stupid. We're gonna go ahead and move to the next question. Mexico. This dude's a genius. Now look, all of these questions I know the answer to. So I get a badge of honor because I'm an intelligent college grad genius. How many points is a touchdown? How many points? I don't watch sports. Um, seven. Damn, I don't even play sports like that. Six points. Correct? Six. Six. Yeah. One more if you get it in the fork. Six. Oh, I have no idea. One. What? That's it, too. Correct. Yeah. Oh, I thought that I got that one wrong. Nah, you got that. What currency does the UK <laughs> use? Oh, um, euros. She is two for two. Oh, my goodness. Euros. Euros. Yeros. I like how he's letting them think that they're 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 accurate. Yeros is your answer. Is it wrong? By your face, it's wrong. Pounds. 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 I know that. There we go. How many terms did Benjamin Franklin serve as president? Four. Four. One. Two. Two. He wasn't president. Oh, Thank you. Gotcha. He wasn't president. Trick question. Cue the insert. That's the reason. Trick question. Boom. Do you like mayonnaise? Mayonnaise. No. Thank you. Fuck mayonnaise. Fuck mayonnaise. Yes. Let me listen. If you like me, listen. Okay. Here's the thing. I don't like mayonnaise, but like if I'm having a chicken sandwich, you could throw a little tiny bit, like such a slim layer, just because it keeps it so it's not super dry. You know what I'm saying? But I don't really want to taste it. Like I don't want mayonnaise on our, I'm not a big potato salad, all that kind of stuff. I don't know. Listen, I'd say smash that like button if you agree with me, but I feel like most people like mayonnaise. So I don't want to, I don't want to jinx myself. Smash that like button if you do and don't like mayonnaise. You know, just smash that like button anyway. Yeah, I hate mayonnaise. Who said that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind? Neil. Fuck. Oh, shoot. Uh, um, man on the moon? The first man on the moon? The first guy on the moon. What was his name? I have no idea. Scott Armstrong. You said Scott Armstrong? Arnold Armstrong. <laughs> what the fuck Neil. is that? <laughs> oh my god. What's his name? Oh my god. Neil Armstrong? Boom. There we go. Neil Armstrong. Man, that sounds like Neil Armstrong. There we go. Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong. First man on the moon. Oh, Armstrong. What's his first name? Uh, Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong. That's I'm gonna go it. back Does in my the box Earth up here. Revolve around the sun, or the sun revolve around the Earth. The sun revolves around the Earth. <laughs> yeah, smart guy. Smart guy. The sun. The sun, right? The sun revolves around the Earth. You are unstoppable today. You just have a spark of brilliance today. The earth revolves around the sun. Earth. I feel like if you don't know, you go that direction because it's like a human thing. I feel like we think everything we do is super important. So it's like, well, this is our earth, so the, the sun must go around us. But I think that's more like a flat earth theory, right? Like we're flat and the sun just circles around us or something like that. <laughs> revolves around the sun. Boom. I'm sorry, but why does every college other than the one that I went to have cool shit? What the fuck is this? Look at the mouse go. Look at it go. Both screens. Look at that. Down here. Ooh, up here. What is this? Not in my life have I seen this. What's the who invented the light bulb? Um, Thomas Jefferson. Come you're on close. Now, dog. Well, you're not oh, close, Benjamin but like Franklin. Benjamin Franklin. Come on, man. Oh, light bulb. Einstein. Einstein. Yeah. 
you serious? Oh, uh, oh my gosh. I could see his face. I could see his face, light bulb, but I don't know his name. Benjamin Franklin and the light bulb, you think? Yeah, because if not, would it be um, that guy that did um, White Goes MC Square? What's his name? So the answer is Thomas Edison. And unfortunately, she's thinking of Albert Einstein. But she said the guy who made Y equals MC square, but it's E equals MC square. She got that shit double. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't even pay attention to what she said as far as the formula. I was just like, no, no. Isaac Newton. But I think it was Benjamin Franklin because like electricity and like light bulbs. That makes complete sense. Fucking Thomas Edison. Yes. That's right. Isn't it funny how the light bulb was a good idea and the symbol for a good idea is a light bulb. And a bird just shit on me. I felt something drop on my face. I wiped. Why? Yeah. Like that. That ain't water. Ooh. It's either mustard raining or Ooh. I just got shit on. Who's Jackie Robinson? He played a sport. Mm -hmm. A baseball player. What was he like known for? Playing baseball. Hall of Famer. Like, what was he known for? Like, oh, that's Jackie Robinson. He was the. The GOAT. Yeah, facts. I don't know who Jackie First, is. First. What was his like claim to fame? He hit a lot of home runs. Yeah, he did. Oh, um, he was on the Dodgers, the first African-American male to play baseball. The first black baseball player. Um, baseball. I'm a 42. First African-American. Yeah. That's correct. What are the three branches of the United States government? Legislative. Oh, the executive. And judicial. Hannah, can you please talk about how your handwriting is exquisite? Look at this. How do you do that? Holy shit. Did you get a close up on that again? Look at that. And that's a similar font to all girls, too. Who's on the $20 bill? Oh my god. What the? F it's a president. A president. Whose name is? Benjamin Franklin. Oh my god. Who's on the 100? Oh no, that one's Benjamin Franklin. Yeah. Samuel Jackson. Alexander Hamilton. George Washington. No! On the twenty, yes, right on the twenty. Listen, if, uh, it's fine if you don't get it right because you may just not look and stuff. But I feel like everybody knows that George Washington is on the one dollar bill. I feel like we all gotta know that. Twenty. Who on the twenty? Who on the twenty? Nobody knows a ten and a twenty. Samuel Jackson. No, Samuel. <laughs> but you know who's on the ten. <laughs> what? I know who's on the hundred because I only keep that on me. Who's on the fifty? I literally don't know that. Ulysses Grant. There we go. Well, people do not know that, but you know it's on the five. Abe? No. Is that George Washington? God bless America. Who is Harriet Tubman? I don't know. I know who she is. I just like can't really like give you a definition right now. Stop the cap. She fought for women's rights. Harriet Tubman. She freed the slaves. Oh, she did the Underground Railroad. Was the lady that helped all the slaves escape. Helping slaves escape. The lady that led the slaves through the Underground Railroad. Did you know that it wasn't actually an underground or a railroad? It was just a term they used. Hold on, these are real cardiac glasses. They just got them out like this. Oh my God, what do y'all think about these? Top or drop, what do y'all think? Wait a minute, I might have just did something. These actually go crazy. Yeah, I'm fucking with these. He's like, what okay, I Rosa found Parks something. famous for? Saying no. For not moving seats on the bus. There we go. Who's on the 50 cent coin? Okay, I assume everybody knew that because they moved on quick. I'm not going to lie. This is the second video where he asked the question to different people about uh, Tubman. And I thought that someone would be like, oh, she's the lady from the bus. I really thought that that was going to happen, but it didn't. There's no such thing as a 50 cent coin. There is no 50 cent coin. <laughs> Oh my god. 50 cent. 50 cent. Oh, 50 cents on a 50 cent coin? Yeah. That adds up. Ronald Reagan? No. Hint, he was murdered. John F. Kennedy? That's correct. John if 50 cent made it on the 50 cent coin, he would be the most accomplished famous rapper that has ever existed because that's a that's a crazy thing to happen. John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy. Uh, Abraham Lincoln? <laughs> that's correct. She's good today. She was surprised. I see, I see. see it. I just give me. Oh, he told. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. For some reason, I thought that I'm thinking back to the question about the five dollar bill because he's like, "Oh, you're right." And I'm like, "Wait, no, no, we're on the fifty cent piece." I like how he's telling some of them that they've got it right, and they're like, "Oh yeah," because I imagine if he doesn't correct them and they go on somewhere and they tell people like, "Yeah, I answered these questions and I answered this and this," and then he gave me and they're like, "Wait, what?" A picture. Imagine going up to your teacher and you're like, what's the answer? You're like, oh, I see. I sort of got to see it right in front of me. What date did the U.S. gain its independence? July 4th. The 4th of July. July 4th. July 4th. You know the year? 17 something. 17. No, I don't know the year. 1742. 1742. <laughs> Was that Nico Avocado? She's on a hot streak today. Holy cow. What's the nation's capital? Washington, D.C. Oh, Washington, D.C. Correct. The nation is like the United States. <laughs> That's it. Wait, there's a capital? Yeah. Which war was fought between the North and South regions of the United States? 
That sounds like civil. I don't like history. I don't know. The Civil War. That's correct. It was over slavery. That was one of the big things that they fought over. You don't know the name of that war? Uh, all good. Who cares? What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Uh, that was Lincoln when he freed the slaves. Oh, I, I have no idea. I thought it was something with freeing the slaves too. I'm not gonna lie. Someone's gonna be like, it emancipated people. Let's let's hear it. Let's hear it. That's correct. Can you name two <sighs> of the eight wonders of the world? No, I'm just gonna say no. Two of the eight wonders of the world. You're familiar with the eight wonders of the world? No. Uh, have you heard of the eight wonders of the world? No. Oh shit, okay. Taj Mahal and the pyramids. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's weird because I have a Tribe Discoveries channel where we check out like science discoveries, all that stuff. I've never considered what the eight wonders of the world are and I'm positive I've probably watched a video on it, but I've never retained that information. Congratulations, sir. You're the first, the smartest person that we talked to. The pyramids of Egypt and the Eiffel Tower. He said the uh, Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Do you have an idea of what one of them might be? No. No. What about one of them? Nah. Uh, me and you. And that's a fact. Woo! I'm sorry. Great Wall of China. Okay. The Pyramid in Egypt. There you go. Machu Picchu. Oh, I ain't never heard Ooh, someone okay. name that one. Damn, I respect she got the that. One. The infamous shape test. Draw a rhombus. Is that a rhombus? Let's give you one more try. <laughs> that's not a rhombus. Let's show the audience. Look at that. I feel like that's this one, right? Am I wrong? I feel like I'm wrong. Um, okay, well, I love that you did the 3D. That's correct. It is? Mm -hmm. okay. Draw a parallelogram. I don't know that I'd be, I would. This is actually a I'd be failing these. And this is a trapezoid. What's your major? Psychology. Okay. And for you, I have nothing. Congrats. You win nothing. My God, appreciate you. Hey, let's go. Listen, these are some fun videos. I like this guy's energy, and I like how he approaches it in the play, the cutting, the edit. It's all good. It's all really well done. Comment below. Let me know what you thought. How many you got wrong? You know what I mean? I feel like I got quite a bit right. I was looking pretty good today. Probably not, but hey, you know, we try. We try. But I appreciate you guys. If you're new here, smash that like button. Hit that subscribe. We're trying to hit 10K subs at some point. So it does mean the world. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take it easy. Stay safe. I'll catch you next video, homies.